2 0, oh, which led to Ned actually 3 1 ing Earl of M off stream already. So that's oh, wow. moving along there on the one second. Comet beat Meaden and Daybreak. We saw it beat Big Mac. Set up Comet versus Daybreak. Yeti beat Animal Kingdom. Frosty beat Dilster. Those two are playing right now off stream. And Mysterica beat Kane. Superdan beat Neo, which led to a 3 1 victory for Superdan over Mysterica. Oh, to wow. To make its winner's quarter final. So Superdan still living in the winner's side of bracket. Very good for him. Perhaps the biggest upset of the day as we enter into this one. Top 32, where you are in best of five territory. Yes, indeed. And this is going to be Young Link versus Yoshi where you're going to see Skittles try to set up under these platforms and control horizontal space with things like the boomerang and use the, the... The boomerang actually can control the diagonal space really well, while those fire arrows will control the horizontal, which can really mess with Yoshi's approach angles onto someone's shield, because Yoshi wants to be picking up on the shield. Huh? Skittles is pointing at his controller like something. Some kind of mistake happened, and I think... Skittles is saying play it out. That was... That was really awkward. Yeah, a strange issue there, and Seth showing no mercy, going right for the Yoshi Bomber in the face of Skittles' is up special. You know, actually, Kraft, you might want to check that adapter, because I'm not sure if that's the same port that Big Mac was using in his ST. Oh, wow. That There could be some issue there. I really hope that's not the case. Obviously, like you, you never want to brute protect issues. But OK, cleaning up the stock here is Skittles. He's still in this game. Yeah, showing why he's number one in Nebraska at the moment. A very favorable matchup. Gets the fair, but on stage, excellent DI from Skittles can just survive that, not even needing to tag. Trying to fight his way in with the forward air, but the neutral air from Yoshi's a little too fast. And there, that forward air will confirm. Not going to KO yet. Still in this, that last hitbox of the spin attack. That saved Skittles' life. Yes. That forward air was ticketed right for Young Link's dome. But that, speak, I, I was talking about this with, uh, I think it was on my block of technique earlier, that back air from Yoshi might be the most buffed single move in the game, considering how terrible that move was in Smash 4 and how amazing it is in this game. Like, that completely changes Yoshi's kit and the forward tilt, which you see there, which also really easily sets up into some combo opportunities. Yoshi is just a completely reinvented character in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, if not number one, has to be top five at least. It just has so much more utility, especially with the potency it has to poke shields in this game. Less potent now in the most recent patch, of course. Yes. Oh! Using the invulnerability frames to sneak out. You get a couple of invulnerability frames when you sneak out of that uh, that egg lay, which you can use to save your bacon, and it allows that forward air to not be a true confirm. Bacon's in there, and the egg throw actually going to interrupt the boomerang star, though. In the other direction. Okay. Down air will KO. I, down air wasn't one of the moves that was buffed, right? It was up air? Yes, up air, up smash, Zare. Yeah, up smash is the other big one. That's that's. Good. I was about to say, that that move always had a ton of kill power, and Skittles knows it. Good tether back to not even just play Yoshi's game. That's smash in the other direction, that'll give him the window to go for the end. Yeah, now, Seth's in disadvantage here. This is a scary spot to be in, but okay, the forward air gonna buy, again, valuable space away from these disjointed hitboxes and young ones. Had to drop shield there, did not want to get broken. Skittles has clawed his way into a last stock, last hit game after a very unfortunate SD. There are a couple of ways for Young Link to still confirm, I believe, in this range, but you get caught drawing your arrow when you really should have been shielding, and that means Seth closes the door on game one. Yeah, I think Skittles realized just too late that he wasn't in the percent window to get up special into up air, and Seth just took advantage, restored neutral, and found the advantage state just as he caught Skittles on the ledge. Yeah, okay, Crafter's checking in on the adapter to make sure everything's fine. I think that both players know it's a... Want to see. I, I think the adapter's fine. I, I just want to be a little too cautious in these situations. I remember back in Dismantle 1, we actually had a HDMI splitter cut out in the middle of like a doubles top four set in the middle of our stream. And and Vinny was so mad. And I, I mean, I don't blame him, of course. Like, a tech flub like that really should not ever be an issue. But, ooh, and the reset on the platform. Look at Seth go. 72% from zero. Look at all this damage he's applying. Finally able to get something started without boomerang into fair confirm. But 
at what cost, just so much pressure. And uh, I, I, that was nice, just kind of baiting Yoshi into being in that position where he wants to advance and allowing like a big little boomerang to bomb and falling bomb combo. To Excellent okay. spot dodge. Yoshi Bomber very narrowly not getting a kill. What great persistence from Seth off the side. He completely respected the bomb recovery that Skittles had to go for, otherwise he was gonna eat a spike. And Seth is just winning this offstage game 10 out of 10. I mean, that's what Yoshi can do. If you have any edge guarding, if you have any recovery that is susceptibility to being edge guarded, you can just go for it. Particularly against a character like Young Link who has the vulnerability on the top. That's one of Young Link's biggest weaknesses is the recovery game. No, I think Skittle's meant to do that, that fire arrow the opposite way. I think that was meant to be a punish to like a fire arrow to, to forward air or something. I'm not sure. There probably were a couple options there. Actually did manage to get the zero as he was fanning back, but that forward air not going to kill from center stage. Yoshi using his heavyweight status to stay alive for just a little bit longer. In the end, he wasn't really able to buy much extra credit out of that situation. But, ooh, you heard the footstool. You heard it, right? That actually is so close to just being a lot the easy gift for Seth. Armoring through that down air as well, allowing Seth to get back to center stage before Skittles can. The Yoshi armor in this game works a little differently than it did the Smash boards. Uh, called subtractive armor. Where any I believe it's 120 units of knockback, any value less than 120 units of knockback will just be ignored. So as you take more damage, you become more susceptible to being hit out of the armor. Look at Seth's game plan here. You can tell he just doesn't want Skittles in center stage. That area just above the Pokeball is the no-go zone for him. And as far as he can get him towards either ledge or above a platform, that is where he can really start to shine in neutral. Skittles is comfortable in the corner, though. You see this here, a couple of fire arrows, forcing an approach from Seth. Where did he get there with that boomerang? It's excellent to firm off the arrow. Ending stock two the same way he ended stock one. I like Seth pressuring there when he knew the bomb was in hand, because like that bomb would eventually just poke through the shield and, and force Skittles to have to get out of the corner. So now Skittles trying to turn up the heat on the stock, last stock of Seth. Now in the back air and getting on the egg has to go low. Oh, the reverse hit of the neutral air. I believe the regular hit would have killed there for Yoshi. Sneaky cross up from Seth on that back air, but not cool at all is Skittles. And again, finds himself in the corner, but he doesn't mind being there. Now Skittles just waiting for Seth to give him an opening, which Seth seems hesitant to do, but at what cost? Just this chip damage from every bit of projectiles that's coming his way. This isn't a situation, of, and Seth, Seth does seal the kill. That's similar to game one, where that arrow was drawn, but the back arrow was in your face. A little bit of mistiming, I think. You don't necessarily mind giving up a little bit of extra credit on that second stop as Yoshi. That forward arrow is a lot of damage, though, so it's 83%. But Yoshi, we've seen him do it. Like, a 0 to 72% combo is completely doable for this character. Yeah, it's well within the character's real house, as well as within Seth's capabilities. Ooh, that air dodge. I don't think it was meant to be, but you know what? That down air is exactly ticketed to Yoshi's face. Our Skittles even set one to one. One short hop too many from Seth as well. Skittles caught him just being a bit antsy on top of the platform, wanting to jump from one platform to the other, or at least below to the stage. And either way, that down air was going to cover both of those. Seth rocking his, uh, his doubles medal. Let's see here. I believe. Everyone who placed in the first, second, third of doubles got a medal, and I've seen everyone wearing them. So happy, happy to be good at doubles here in the Midwest. Yeah, Seth, of course, getting second at doubles alongside Atata, hoping to do one better in singles. They were a game away from winning the whole thing, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll see if he can do one better in singles. Final destination. So a lot of Skittles game plan was where he would be safe retreating to the corners, was predicated by the fact that Yoshi didn't have an easy diagonal angle. You see that diagonal angle where he wanted to come in and like get a dare or a back air. It was blocked by the platform. So taking away those platforms, I think, is a big advantage for Seth in this counterpicking battle. 
Unable to catch that heavy end lag on downer, and Skittles back into advantage with the help of that arrow. Uh, that egg was the honey. Oh, oh, he extended it with the boomerang! That's a madman, dude. I don't even know if that was intentional, but it just worked. Every bit of projectile, everything he threw out, just that extra bit of active frames on the down air, on the forward air, excuse me, and he's just gone. I'm pretty sure that would have hit him even if it wasn't extended. Like if there was nothing there. Most likely, but But it was swaggy. Oh, it's more, That's the most important. Thing. It is more stylish, and that's what really counts. Ooh. Going for a harder punish with Seth. Kind of biting off a little more than you can chew with that forward smash. If it were me, I would have dash attacked, but also I'm not in this position in winner's top 32, so. I mean, there certainly is less reward in this particular case. You're not going to be killing Young Link at 45, even with as, with as powerful as that attack. Taking a step forward, you can just go with a dash attack and perhaps set up a string. Ooh, okay, you're going to pay the price for that down smash. That's one of Yoshi's fastest smash, that is Yoshi's fastest smash attack in the forward direction. So, like, if you think you have a good punish on it, you, you usually throw out down smash in those spots, but Skittles is still able to shield the time. Uh, the range of the drop, but a little trade for the Nair. Seth recovers nicely and finds the up air moments after. Seth's in a great position now. Two stocks to one and actually has a percent lead by a considerable margin as that dare leads to zero to 60% in an instant. Pull back and that boomerang going to pen him right into the tether drive. Placement on the Nair, but this tag actually going to be forced to corner himself. Okay. Not fooled by many of these down airs, but the landing down airs. It has, you know, that sneaky landing hitbox that Seth has some tools to punish that, like the grab that's disjointed, right? You don't really have to respect the, the landing hitbox in that move if you're Yoshi. Most definitely, and Skittles just continuing to play his game, throwing out some of these arrows. Even down an entire stock, Seth knows that he'll get impatient eventually, but Skittles not giving that moment to him. Ooh, okay, I actually thought that was going to be super sneaky from Skittles, but it's turned around in an instant by Seth as he finds the drop down neutral air. A sweet hit that is easily going to kill Young Link off of the right side. And Seth takes a 2 1 lead over at Nebraska's number one. Outstretched foot of the neutral air actually going to be the key to that game three. And this is a best of five, so we'll have to take game four and game five. Game five, the latter of which will be on Seth's counter pick. Did you see the counter pick? I did not. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll find out momentarily. I don't, every time I like theory craft about counter picks, I'm always like dead wrong. So, oh, cool. okay. I actually was gonna guess town. I know I would have looked way smarter if I had actually guessed town, but it be like that sometimes. I actually don't think I've ever heard this song before. That goofy, that goofy Barry sass. I like it though. I'm forget. I know what this is called, and I'm just, it's like house tour or something. Oh, it's from Happy Home Designer. Probably. Yes, it is. Yeah. That explains why I don't know it. Never played Happy Home Designer. Gentle music, but not a gentle start for Seth. As 88% already being tacked onto him. Skittles with an excellent start to this game four. As we mentioned, Yoshi can make these comebacks happen if they're just by percent. Like if you find yourself down like an entire sock and then some, it can be tricky. But as long as you're on even stocks, Yoshi's never really out of it. Goes back onto that side platform and that landing cake box of the dare. Seth actually hesitated before going in, and that was the window for Skittles to go for the forward air. And look at that big damage coming through on that forward air to up air combo. But that'll seal the stop. Right into that forward air, and Skittles, even that move a tiny bit still, but still so, so powerful. Ooh, yeah, those. Those falling back airs to up smash has really been the pick for Seth. Like he, like sometimes you can go for the up air, but I think he knew that. Yeah, see, look at that. The up air would not a KO on the higher ceiling in town. So good awareness to go for the up smash in that spot. Now the second up smash will certainly catch a little bit of an eager full hop from Skittles to make sure this lead does not get too out of control. Yeah, really fortunate for Seth as the platforms were coming in only seconds after, which would have given Skittles an extra landing option. I mean, remember, Seth was the one who picked Final Destination and played incredibly well on that stage. So the Final Destination portion of this, I think, is one third of the total time on the stage is going to be advantage Seth. Oh, he had a double jump there, but he waited it out a little bit 
more of a passive option from Seth. He could have extended to go for like a kill option, which would have been really high reward, but also kind of risky. Boomerang is going to pop him right back out into the shield, but Seth has to find some way to make it back down. That down air is starting to become a tiny bit predictable. Okay, sneaking by the boomerang there. A very well-timed roll, but you're going to get caught by the fire arrow instead. And now these disjoints is where you can get into trouble as Yoshi when all your resources are expended and you have to find yourself falling down towards a link aerial. Especially when you're not going to be rising with that second and third up special. And they're working out here for Skittles. Oh, and that little bomb just waiting in the corner was really smart. He had to plus a bit more, and that roll was in the right direction, but just a tiny bit late. I'm actually surprised Skills didn't go for a more aggressive punish, but I guess this is a the, the style of gameplay that's brought him this far in this tournament, brought him this far in his career, is playing slow and steady with Young Link. Wow, and the boomerang covered all of that. That was the genius from Skittles there. I, he just had so much in that particular instance. Just caught on, read him like the palm of his hand. His winning option was to move two seconds before the kill came out. That shield's really low from Skittles here. Okay, but he's gonna find a, a sneaky little aggressive option to buy some time for that shield. Yoshi Bomber unable to get the parry there, but Skittles still in a good position. You don't mind any of these trades with your skills right now, right? Absolutely any trade not. is a good trade. Ooh, and that down air, finding the perfect angle. There's the armor, and it still lasts, because again, that subtractive armor ignores the first hit of the forward air. Even though that would have comboed into the stronger hit and probably killed the drag down! It worked out! What a perfect gambit from Seth as he takes the 3-1. He was so far behind. I'm in shock. What an unbelievable set of circumstances. Seth was playing from a deficit almost that entire game, but with one interaction, that was just turned the tides in his favor.